Jesus freak here. I thought I had misplaced a couple of my Bibles. It turned out I'd just put them away in a cabinet. And I've done a review of this before, and I don't really intend to talk too much about it. It's a Mormon can uh, Cambridge cameo. Now, when I got this, the cover was about this color. The um, oil I treated with it, I had treated it with darkened it way down. Now, I thought this would continue to be, you know, really stiff, and it is still a bit stiff. But it's a lot closer to what you'd expect of a normal Bible cover. Now, if I had my druthers, I'd have someone take this intertestamental section out, cut the binding in half, put it back together, and then put a whole new cover on it. Because this is pretty nice for being a 51-year-old Bible. But it's got a Mormon section in the middle. And ideally, I'd like to get rid of that. Anyway, though, I don't think it was touched much. And it's a shame, you know, when I go on eBay and look for old Bibles, and I find something that's been barely used. It's almost in brand new shape. Especially if, you know, this was printed in 71. What would be nice... You know, I should probably go through and try to debunk some of the interpretations in this section. Because this is not the only Bible I have with this uh, ready references section. I have a turquoise with it, too. Apparently, um, these are pretty common up until the um, Mormon church started taking over publishing their own Bibles instead of simply distributing ones that were handled by Cambridge World and um, Collins. which I've seen all three in Mormon versions. Honestly, I wonder why they bothered print for them. Wackadoodle cult that They are, you know. You should only say, you know, we'll customize for an orthodox, little old orthodox Protestant church, but.
Not for a church with aberrant beliefs. Anyway, enough rambling. Jesus freak out.